In this video, I'm going to be going over the species of Satan and the species of God. I'm going to be, might be talking about black matter, all right, and the blood of Christ. And I'm going to be talking about heaven and hell and the anatomy of the afterlife. First of all, I want to reiterate that you have to read the whole Bible. God sews in information about everything all throughout the Bible, backwards and forwards, okay? He talks more about the creation all throughout the Bible. He talks more about what happened with Lucifer all throughout the Bible, but you have to. And you have to stay firm to what it's saying and not have it contradict each other, okay? So listen to me. Everyone, it, the Bible says constantly that everyone in heaven is going to know each other. All right. The Bible has mul multiple verses and stories where it says everyone is going to know each other in heaven. An example is on the Mount of Transfiguration when Peter, James, uh, and Jesus, you know, they went up to go see Moses and Elijah. They instantly recognize them. Okay, in the heavenly realms, you're going to recognize everyone. You're no, there are no strangers in heaven. Even if you did not know them on earth, you're going to recognize them. Okay? Even when King da David's son died, he says, I know I will see him in heaven. Okay? He said, I'm going to see him. He's not going to come to me, but I'm going to go to him. And I'm, he's going to recognize his infant son in heaven. All right, you're gonna know there are no strangers in heaven, and then everyone's gonna be like, "Oh yeah, cool, cool. We're gonna recognize each other in heaven." Duh, easy, easy, easy. Okay. It all the Bible also says that everyone in heaven is going to be related to each other. We're there's a reason why we call each other brother and sister because we are going to be blood related to each other. There's lots of passages of that. That's why God constantly calls us His sons. This is why, you know, when you when it, it when it says we get married, when you get married to to God, we become one. When we get married to Christ, we become one flesh. All right. And this is also why there's no sex allowed in heaven. I know I said this stuff in a previous video, but I'm really gonna pound in some ideas. There's no sex in heaven because you can't have sex with your relatives. All right. That's that's the reason why. First of all, it's because you're already married. But you can't have sex with your relatives. Okay. And then people are going to be like, oh, yes, 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 I understand. I agree. We're all going to be re blood related to each other. Okay. That's why it says when you get married, be you become one flesh. It's not just talking about sex. Okay. <laughs> it's saying you are going to be combined with one in one flesh, in one body. All right. Everyone in heaven has always been blood related to each other. That is why... The angels and the people of God are called the heavenly host. The heavenly host. Because they all share the same body. They all have, they're all blood related to each other. Now I have no idea what the blood in heaven is going to look like. It's probably not going to look like the blood in, in, on earth. Okay. But everyone is, we're going to be related to each other by blood. Alright. Okay, now the problem is, you're going to say, okay, yes, we're may, perhaps going to be blood related in heaven. We're going to be brothers, literally brothers and sisters. And yes, we are going to recognize each other in heaven. There's no strangers in heaven. Okay, but you can take that information and go all the way back into Genesis and all the way back into the beginning of time. Listen to the words coming out of my mouth. I know people are going to get all mad at me again, but I'm telling you the truth. The reason why the fallen angels are called sons of God is because they were literally his sons. And I know people don't like this, but that is why I try to tell they're all they are brothers with Christ. They were literally his brothers. Alright? Satan and Lucifer, I mean Lucifer and these fallen angels were literally brothers with Christ. Now people that makes people mad, but I'm gonna explain to you how they're not brothers anymore. Okay. <laughs> But that is why they're called the sons of God. Because they were the sons of God. Okay. It says it in plain English. It's not just like. Why would the, the Bible's not a lot. People say they believe in the Bible. But they don't read what it says. Alright. They were called sons of God. Because they were his sons. Da da da. Alright. I know people get all angry. And I understand why. No I'm not a Mormon. Okay. Because they say that they're still related. They're not related at all. Alright. 
when Satan sinned, he became his own species. Alright? Literally got cut off from the blood of heaven. Got cut off from the family. And the problem is, you will be too if you don't repent. I'm gonna really say that in this video. Okay. So, uh, what, well, what about when it says, you know, Jesus is the only- I know I said this in a previous video, but I'm just gonna reiterate some things and I'm gonna get into heaven and hell a little bit more. So, well, when it says, Jesus is his only begotten son, it just means unique, okay? Of course Jesus is the most special son, he's God, alright? But it, it, the only begotten son just means unique. The Bible refers to Abraham's other Isaac as, as Abraham's only begotten son, even though Abraham had many sons. Do you get what I'm saying? And his other son was evil. That's, that's hinting to you something, okay? I already said this before. That is why there is a constant theme in the Bible of evil sons, okay? Or evil, one one brother being evil. Because Jesus' real past brother before became evil. Alright? That is, it's not even just in the Jewish tradition. Even in these other ancient cultures, there's this constant theme of these two brothers. And a lot of the time, they end up fighting, and one of the brothers makes hell. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> Osiris was supposed to be a brother or a father, and he he made hell. All right, it's so ridiculous. It's the exact same story over and over again because this really happened anyway. And then so and then people are not going well unless the Bible's contradicting tra contradicting itself. That is true. Okay. Another thing is when you know when Jesus and Lucifer met in the beginning of, beginning of the New Testament, that was not the first time they had ever met. They knew each other. Okay, they had literally probably spent eons together in the beginning of time. Okay, because if they were both come from heaven, they knew each other from before. Alright? They knew each other from before. That was not the first time they'd met. Alright? They knew each other. They were not they had that was not the first time they met by a long shot. Another thing is you have to know that Lucifer and Eve knew each other. They knew each other from before. That was not the first time they had met. Okay? Cuz in heaven you know each other. You all you just do. You know each other, you recognize each other. All right, when sin entered into Eden through Satan and through Adam and Eve, listen to me, sin is its own species. Satan became his own family. He became his own species. He got cut off from the blood of heaven, the family of, of God, and he became his own species. Sin is your own species. Okay. He got his own blood and everything. That is why another philosophy is as to why he was turned into a snake. Because snakes are cold-blooded. They have their own, their own blood. Right? Alright. And when you die, you will become part of this bloodline. Okay? That is why this, there's this constant theme with bloodlines. And the only way to get clean from this bloodline is to accept Christ. Alright. Satan became his own species. Sin is a species. That is why in these ancient cultures, everyone is related. Okay? Everyone is related. All these ancient cultures, all the pantheons, they're all family, literally family. And the, the Greek and my, Greek mythologies, the Roman gods, same thing. Uh, <clears throat> the Babylonian gods, the Egyptian gods, they are literally all twins half the time. Okay, I already mentioned why the cherubs are twins. And they're all brother and sister, and they're related. Alright, because this is the family of Satan. Okay, and... Trust me, you will become part of this family. I already talked about this before in my Black Matter video. Okay. This is not just a metaphor. This is going to be very, very, very real. Alright. This Black Matter stuff. This Black Matter is the blood of hell. Okay. This stuff that they're milking out of CERN. That stuff, they admit that it's coming from another dimension. Okay. But there, it, that is the blood of hell. That stuff is hell substance. It's condensed evil energy. Alright? It's very, very real. That is the blood of hell. 
Okay, when you die, you are not only going to be related to literally married to the devil, because married and when in marriage you become one flesh, right? You're going to become one flesh with the devil and each other. You're going to be blood related to each other. All right, that this is the battle between two races, but not in the way that you're thinking. All right, there is the race of the people who believe in Christ and the blood of Christ, and there is a race that doesn't, and that's it. Right? Uh, you uh, you are literally going to be blood related to each other. That and it's so creepy because we they literally say this in when in our everyday speech. Just like if you uh, join the mafia, they say, "Hey, we join the family." You know what I mean? They say that there's a there's a rhythm to it. There's rhythm and revelation to how we even talk to each other. All right, like if you're gay, you call each other family, right? Or, or it, even if you're in the army, you call each other brothers. Okay, it's not just gonna be a metaphor anymore. If you're not brothers with Christ, no, really, you're really one day going to be related to each other all right it's not gonna be a joke this is when sin entered the world it changed our literal dna okay this is why you know when it says satan is or leviathan is the twisted snake and he fell on his belly do you notice how this looks like um dna and gene strands it's it's not a coincidence okay you have to, God uses play on words, alright? And you have to think, this twisted snake belly is the DNA that we have. And the only way it can ever be clean is through the blood of Christ, alright? Christ's blood is the only cleansing thing that can, that can save you, alright? From this other bloodline. That's why, also, Satan has a multicolored breastplate. Okay, there's so much revelation on this. One is talking about genes. If you were to put a breastplate, a multicolored breastplate on the belly of a certain, you equal these different colored strands of the genes. Do you see what I'm saying? It's all connected. and But the, there's a good side to this though, okay? That's why God's people has a similar, not exactly the same, breastplate, okay? Well, when you and the other anointed cherub is Christ. That's the only thing that makes sense. That's why all these people, all God's people have breastplates. Satan has a breastplate and God, Jesus has a breastplate. Okay? When, and his people have breastplates. You will fix your DNA if you believe in the, the, the blood of Jesus. It'll fix your DNA when you die. Okay? So you don't have to be, become part of of the sewn in sackcloth. Alright, you will not have to, it will be become the separation between the wheat and the tares, okay? The reason why is because your DNA will, you will look, the reason why they have similar but different breastplates is because you will have different DNA and blood. This is what the coat of many colors are. This is what the, this armor of God is, okay? It's talking about you accept accepting the body and blood of Christ you when you cover yourself in the coat of many colors you are the wearing the armor of God you are and the the true anointed multicolored d divine entity that you are wearing is Christ okay if, do you have to go literally literally go by and put crystals on your body no okay believing in Christ and accepting Christ is doing it already okay <laughs> don't go buy jewels or whatever all right and it's so creepy because that, that's why also in all these movies there's a bunch of stories of twins and one of the brothers is evil okay and i really want to reiterate they're not brothers anymore i understand if you're going to get mad at me but you have you're not you're going to need to know this stuff to learn because at first glance they always look almost the same they both have breastplates they both were in the garden. They're both called lions and oxes and men. Okay, I'm briefly going to talk about taking a certain modern medicine. The very controversial modern medicine. Look, I don't care if you took it or not. Okay, not really. Because if you don't accept Christ, you will always end up going to hell. 
I know lots of people who didn't take it that didn't take it and they think they're going to heaven even though they don't have a relationship with Christ you relying on some medicine is st- it, other than Christ will still end you, it keep and you it will still end up in hell okay you relying on not taking it above Christ is still the same concept do you get it? I know lots of people who didn't take it, who don't have a relationship with Christ, and they think they're going to heaven, and I, I, it's not true. All right. That being said, I think it's, I think it's you need to be very careful what you put in your body because the devil is very, very tricky. Okay, and this is a sin that you'll it will be cleansed and cleaned of. Okay, I'm not here to try to freak you out if you took it, but you have to realize this is spiritual warfare, and it is very real, and you have to decide which team you're on okay but that being said i'm not trying to freak you out you have to you can still accept christ and you will always be clean cleansed okay it doesn't matter whatever you put in your body before all right okay but i there are things that devil the devil does to make your dna even harder on yourself it makes it even harder for you to accept christ because you just really cannot understand why killing babies is a a sin like it just doesn't compute anymore all right your body and your mind are slowly being nephilimed okay i'm not kidding all right um you people are becoming more and more related to satan i'm not kidding and the only thing you do you can do is accept christ and do make good choices in spiritual warfare anyway i'm gonna uh, briefly show this video okay on genes your dna is a right-handed double helix made up of these four things right here and the helix is held together by sulfuric bonds that appear after every 10 pairs of nucleotides every five pairs of nucleotides every six pairs of nucleotides and again every five pairs of nucleotides 10565 10565 or in the Hebrew Aleph Bet Yod He Vav He the signature of your creator the signature of an artist under his painting if you will now the magic potion if you actually read the patents it is adding a triple helix and is adding more of this which comes from a meteorite or a fallen star and this 10565 yod hey vav hey the signature of your creator quickly turns into 156665 do i have your attention yet all right like i said i'm not trying to freak you out if you took it i, I believe that if you really have a relationship with christ this this is going to cover you okay from this but if you don't it's just more trouble for you okay and I need people to know that this is very, this stuff is very, very real. All right. And I wanted to bring up, this is why Satan, there's many reasons why. This is why Satan is called the bronze serpent. Because you have to go back into history. All right. This bronze copper thing, was what, which is what, which is what mirrors are made out of. Okay. When you mirror the devil, you will become blood related to him. Okay, if you want to be, want to look and act like him, you will become a part of him. You will become part of his species. That is why in all these movies, mirrors become people. Because back then, the bronze, this is why the devil is called the bronze serpent. This bron- polished bronze is where mirrors come from. You mirror the devil, you will become his twin too, alright? And it's so creepy, even on these back, on the backs of these ancient mirrors bronze mirrors bronze serpent mirrors on the backs of them there are literally serpents on there all right just a coincidence no there's a bunch of philosophy as to why the devil is called the bronze serpent this the snake in the garden is called the bronze serpent okay because when you mirror him you will become him all right again and that's a, there's a good thing that br- christ is known as a bronze color all right in the book of revelation He's known as bronze skinned. This doesn't necessarily just have to do with race. People you will use it to to say what race Jesus is, but you're missing a bat. That's not true as well. Sorry. I'm saying there's deeper meaning behind this. When you get stuck on race, you're not gonna learn anything. I don't care if you think Jesus was dark skinned or not. Maybe he was, I don't care. 
But the point is, if you're stuck on the race thing, you're not going to learn anything else. If you, if you just accept the fact that Jesus came here to save everyone, not a specific race, you will learn a lot of things. I mean, sorry, he's called Bronze Color because he also, it's the, also, it's the same philosophy, it's just flipped. When you mirror him, you'll become more like him and become part of his species. Anyway, it's scary because um, Satan likes to pretend he's, you know, his he is Jesus' brother still. Okay, I know there's lots of, that makes people mad, but let me explain. He likes to imitate, he likes to be his twin still, his evil twin, okay, because he mirrors and copies him so much that you, unless you are living inside the word of God and have a real relationship with Christ, you're going to think they're the same person, all right? So many people think that the devil is the good guy. He's Jesus. He is the savior. All right. The the devil copies and mirrors Christ so much in certain ways that unless you have real discernment, you're going to think he is he is here to help you and save you. He is going to be like a Christ to you. That is why it's important. I'm trying to drill in this whole twin thing. All right. Because what's going to happen at the end of the world? All right. Is what if you know how they say that that Satan is supposed to be coming in the future, all right? But Christ is supposed to come in the future. This is just trying to get you to think in a certain way. What if they come at the same time? I'm telling you right now, they're gonna Satan is gonna mirror Christ so much that he's gonna throw you off. He's gonna look and sound just like him, all right? He's he's gonna mirror he's because. Satan, he's a good liar. What makes a good liar? He mixes the truth up with with lies. So you can't tell. He's going to say lots of good moral things. Satan has lots of good fake morals. And as long as you p- don't believe in the real Jesus, you'll always be led astray. Okay? And the crazy thing is um, we repeat the same stories from the past. Okay? We put them in movies and stuff like that. All right? And there's so much revelation in it. Okay, there is truth embedded in these false religions. There is that's why the Bible has almost the exact same stories. Okay, it's like that on purpose because God's story and Satan's stories they look like twins most half the time, and you have to have real discernment to see what the truth is. All right. Another thing I wanted to talk about. Oh man, this is really really important. I know people are going to have a hard time understanding this, but I have to tell you, I'm going to try to explain it to you. All right. Heaven and hell, they're in a different, they're in a different dimension, but they, they aren't just places. They are people. Okay. Hell and heaven. Heaven is Christ. That Satan is hell. That is also why in the Bible, the people are hell. It says, this is why in the Bible it says, you will be turned into hell. You're not just a person going into a place. You will become that place. That is why when you see, see people drawing hell testimonies and stuff like that, there are people inside the walls and people inside the trees. The, king, the people make up the kingdom of Satan on earth and very literally in hell. Okay, that's why, that's why when you see hell testimonies, people are hanging from the walls, okay, and they're inside the walls. This is also why it says we are living stones. We are living stones. We make up the kingdom of Satan. Hell and heaven aren't just places. They are people, okay? It's something that I described in that in that Black Matter, okay, video. I, 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 I had a near-death experience, and I experienced... I know I, I know what hell kind of looks like, even though it's pitch black. Um, you are it is like you are inside a big living thing, okay. And even I've heard ev- other hell testimonies where, when it says the left wing of hell and the right ring of hell, like in real life, you say buildings that, that's the left wing, that's our right ring, or that's the legs, or, or the jaws of hell, like. No, we're kidding. It's a, a hell has an actual anatomy of a living thing that are actually you're inside a body parts. Okay, um, and I know people have a hard time understanding that. Okay, but the hell is like a living, big living entity. You aren't just a person in a place. Everything is a lot. Everything is like a be- dead alive down there. Everything is always a. Li- everything is moving around. The walls. The, the the floor there are people inside i remember seeing people inside the ceiling and the walls okay when i say people they're pitch black 
or they looked like skeletons, but they were inside the walls, but they were alive, okay? They were moving around. It was absolutely terrifying. Anyway, the same thing is the same thing about heaven. Heaven, I know people have a hard time believing this or understanding this. Heaven is a person and it's people. It's not just a people in a place, okay? Um, this is why in the Bible, people and places are named after each other. God is trying to really put something under make you understand something this is why it says we are brothers and sisters in christ on earth we make up the body of christ on earth and we will literally make up the body of christ in heaven okay not that you can't not that you're gonna not see jesus you are okay but listen this is why in the bible people are named after places our places are named after people like israel was a name of a person and then he became a name of a, of a a of an actual land, right? Israel became a land, uh, and people, the line, the tribe of Judah became became the the Judah, uh, Judah, the actual like the actual piece of land. And you have to connect dots. The ten lost tribes represent the ten sons of Satan. Okay, the demons represent these these lands too, right? Right? Uh, these ten lost tribes. You're supposed to compare that to Joseph's ten brothers. Okay, because these people used to be, these things used to all be related, okay? They used to literally be related to each other. I know people have a hard time with that, but it's true. Everyone was a part of God's family at one point before they started their own race of sin. Anyway, uh, and, it's, and people make up the hell. This is why a person was a name after Canaan, was a name of Noah's son, okay? And it became a name of a place, uh, even Nimrod. Nimrod was the name of a person, but Nimrod be actually became a name of a place for a while. P- naming, this is the deep meaning why, by, why places are named after people. Okay, they make, because in heaven and hell, that literally is going to happen. Jesus Christ is heaven. He makes up the body of heaven. Okay, okay. It's, I know that's very hard for us to understand. This is one why when you why you when you read the book of Revelation and read the descriptions of these angels, they all start merging into the same body. That is why when you see people drawing uh, pictures of angels, I know they're just reading the book of Revelation and they're not reading the whole Bible. Okay, these angels will start merging into the same body. Okay, <laughs> the the thing with eyes and the cherubs and the seraphims all start merging into the same body. All right, because it's talking about heaven. And it's talk, talking about the body of heaven, the anatomy of heaven, which is a person and its people. I know people have a hard time with that. You just have to think about it. Anyway, so that's why they're called the heavenly host. Like a host, a body and a host, a parasite. I don't mean to use that word, but the parasite live off the host. Okay. Um, and this is also why, you know, these maps are multicolored and this is why... G- uh, these the breastplates mean so many things. Okay, Satan has a breastplate, and breastplate, a multicolored breastplate, and Jesus has a multicolored breastplate. His people. All right, the other anointed cherub in the garden is God, and it's Christ. Okay, and then it's you have to add current information on this. This is why maps are multicolored. God is trying to get you to connect dots. Okay, and before you start freaking out about where you live, you have to accept Christ no matter where you live. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't matter if you move around. All right, you represent the body of Christ on Earth no matter where you live. You don't have to move around to find some holy land. Okay, that is silly. It's not how it works anymore at all, because Jesus is everywhere now. Right? He's not just in Jerusalem anyway. So uh, please think about this stuff, guys. All right, thank you.